in the 20th Mishnah of the 5th chapter of Pirkei Ovis, which we are going to learn this Shabbat, the Mishnah says the following, Yehuda ben Tema, Yehuda ben Tema says, Heavy az kanamo, you should brazen as a leopard, as a leopard. Kal kanesha, light as an eagle. Ratz katzvi, swift as a deer, the gibber karin, strong as a lion. For what purpose? Lase is rutzoyna vicha shabashamayim, to fulfill the will of your Father in heaven. In other words, use all the strengths, all those images of the different animals, each one having a specific quality, swiftness, strength, determination, and so on. We should all use this kind of qualities in the service of Hashem. And then he continues. Who Haya Oimer? He used to say, Yehuda ben Tema used to say, Az ponim le Gehenim. A brazen-faced person belongs in purgatory, goes to purgatory. Uboyshe spanim, the shame-faced, the humble, the Ganeden, he goes to paradise. So there's a very interesting, on a light note, but a meaningful one. Insight. And what I meant about the light note is what comes following. The Hasidic insight says the following. Az panim, which means a person who is brazen and bold in his holiness, strong in his personal holiness, he is capable to function, to accomplish, to influence even in Gehenna, even purgatory, which means to be involved in an environment which is adverse to Torah mitzvahs, which is distant from God, which is rejecting holiness, this person could even influence in an environment like this. Boishe Spanim, the one who is a little weak in his own personal holiness, in his own personal spirituality, this person, to be sure that he achieves, he holds on to his levels, is only Ben only if he's protected in a spiritual cocoon. So they tell that story, and this is what I meant before by a light story. That's a joke, but it was a lot of truth. A group of religious people, Chassidim, Ashkenazim, Sfardim, different Chassidim, different viewpoints in life, they're traveling together, and unfortunately, there was an accident. And everyone finds himself in front of the heavenly court. A chassid of a certain Hasidic dynasty comes in front of the Beisdin and the Beisdin questions him, how was your davening, how was your learning, Tzipisa le Yeshua, were you expecting, were you anxiously awaiting for Mashiach, and the bottom line is, mm, can't go into Gan Eden, can't let him into paradise, you have to go to Gehenna. This chassid starts screaming, Rebbe, come and save me. His Rebbe comes and says, what's going on? He's your follower, he's no good. We can't let him into Gan Eden. You know what he says to the Beis Nishal Mare, to the Heavenly Court? I'm going to take him under my wings. I'll take care of him. Take care of him? Gesundheit. Look after him. Wonderful. This other individual, the Yeshiva man, says, Rosh Yeshiva, same story. He's being not accepted in Gan Eden. Rosh Yeshiva, come and save me. The Rosh Yeshiva comes running. What's going on? He's your Talmud. He's no good. He can go into Gan Eden. I'll take care of him. I'll take him back with me. I will make sure that he should be okay. Take care of him. Father Sherov comes, Father Shekhar, individual comes in. Kvod Arav, Chacham Sheli, Bevakashat Azorli, help me, save me. He arrives and says, what's the matter? Makore, what's going on? can go into Gan Eden. I will take care of him. Finally, the last one who comes in is a chassid, the Lubavitcher chassid. He was busy going all over the place. Who are you? I'm a Lubavitcher chassid. Oh yeah? Mifzoim, Chitas, Rambam, Avas Yisroel, Gula Moshiach. He's learning all. Did you follow? Did you do? Mm. Not so perfect. 
Gehenna. Rebbe, come and save me. The Rebbe comes. What's going on? What's the story? They want to send me to Gehenna. So, so what's wrong with that? Go to Gehenna and open a Chabad house. Do Mifzoim over there. So that's what the Mishnah says over here. We have to realize we cannot just content ourselves with living our own protected Ganeden. We have to function in Gehenna. We have to function in a place where it is adverse to Judaism. And that's what comes later on. Sheibane Besamikdosh. This is how we merit the Besamikdosh. But making sure that even the one who is not yet in Ganeden, even the one who is not yet involved in the holiness of Torah Mitzvahs should also be included. And this way we'll have the Besamikdosh right now.